This is the most affordable 4K and Dolby Vision projector on the market today. But is it practical to swap a TV for a projector? I honestly wasn't sure. I thought my wife would hate it. I thought my kids would blind themselves by staring into it. And I thought that however cool having a home cinema experience at home was, it just couldn't replace my LG C1 and its amazing image quality. So to explore this question, I'm going to show you if it's practical, if it's any good, and how to address some potential shortfalls that you might run into. And to get started, this isn't just going to be me reading off a spec list. X Jimmy sent their Horizon Ultra projector to me about two months ago and I've been using it along with the rest of my family for those whole two months so I want to share with you what it's actually like living with a projector in place of a more traditional TV. Now in terms of whether it's practical to use a projector well the first challenge to solve is where to actually put the projector and since this thing is a 4k Dolby Vision long throw projector which can throw an image of over 100 inches onto a wall or projector screen it might be tricky to find a good spot because of course the further back you place it the bigger your image will be and I speak for myself when I say I really wanted to get that full like, home cinema experience with this you know gigantic screen. Now I actually had this really conveniently placed shelf which was roughly eight feet away from my wall and putting the projector on this gave me a screen that's around 89 inches diagonally. But if you don't have something that's directly behind where you want to project onto you can place the projector to the side and it will automatically adjust itself. Now first I put it onto the lower shelf but did run into some issues because whenever someone stood up or even sometimes just sat up too straight on the sofa it would then cast a shadow across the picture. I was also worried that the bright projector would be right at the like eye level for my kids but the projector automatically detects whenever someone's in the way and blacks out the image which was also great to see but eventually I decided to move the projector up to the top of my shelf so there was less interference from you know people moving around in front of the projector I also had to flip the projector upside down to keep the image in the right place otherwise it would start like projecting towards the ceiling and I then had to prop the projector up because then the image was too low and honestly this is how I've kept the projector for the last two months of using it. I'm kind of lazy when something works, well, it kind of works. But the proper way to use this would actually be to use the tripod thread on the bottom and use that to position the projector properly. Next up, since the projector was behind me, I also had to then move my Xbox, my Apple TV to the same shelf. I've also been using the Apple HomePods as my TV speakers recently, just to see how they perform. And since they are totally wireless, they can stay where they are. And actually it makes my whole like, TV area look really clean still, other than the fact that with my projector, it's just my sofa pointing at like a blank wall. It kind of looks a bit antisocial. So is it practical? I think it is, but is it any good? That's the next question I wanted to answer. Will it be something that I would happily replace for my TV? And there are a few issues that I want to address, but the first thing that I quickly noticed with this projector is that my viewing experience was no longer spoiled by reflections. And I mean like zero reflections. Now the way my room here is set up means that I have a massive window directly behind where I sit. And with my LG C1 TV, I'd find myself closing the blinds just to be able to properly see the screen from all the glare and reflections from that window. But now since we're projecting onto a wall, there is absolutely none of that whatsoever. And it's not just that there's no reflections though, but it's also bright. Now the Horizon Ultra uses this dual light configuration, which makes use of both a laser light source for the ultra high brightness and wide color, whilst the LED light blends in to make the image look more natural, that's more comfortable to watch over a long time. And that doesn't suffer from color fringing as well. Now both of these combined kicks out around 2300 lumens, which is good enough to watch content on even the brightest of days. Now I thought I'd just look around to see what the other options were for the brightest projectors around. And I was pretty shocked to see that some of them cost upwards of five grand and particularly when you look at the Dolby Vision projectors 15 grand or 20 grand higher which is insane compared to the cost or I guess lack of cost of the Horizon Ultra. Now over the past couple of months or so we've been watching a ton of content on this thing movies TV shows gaming and we've been able to enjoy watching family favorites like Luck which is in Dolby Vision, Ted Lasso, Ahsoka and considering this is being projected onto what is basically a grey wall the color of the image has been really really good like the only issue I could really pick out is in dark scenes when you're watching on a bright day where things should be black but they're gray since it's impossible I guess to project black onto a wall with the technology we have today but that's again only during the daytime because at night of course everything's black so then it really really comes into its own with its full-on like theatre cinema experience and when watching Avengers Endgame on a screen of this size it took me right back to that moment of watching this in the cinema where just the room fell silent and you could just feel the excitement of what was about to happen next so addressing the question of is it good yeah it, it is definitely good but I did mention some potential shortfalls and how you should overcome them and if you haven't already if you are enjoying this please do head down below subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to show YouTube that you're enjoying this video it genuinely makes a big big difference so um yeah thank you now the first challenge I 
had was relocating everything from its traditional location of being near or under the TV to near where the projector is sat, which was behind me. Now for devices like the Apple TV, the Xbox, that's not a problem. It's just a case of moving like the power, the HDMI and the network to the new location. But if you have, say, a soundbar that you'd like to keep positioned in front of you or a home theater system, then you'll need to buy or maybe figure out a way to extend these systems to then reach the projector. Now, in terms of shortfalls, the audio from the Horizon Ultra is actually really good. It's got two 12 watt Harman Kardon speakers, which do sound great. But if you want to have this set up semi-permanently in your room, then it just doesn't make sense to me to use the built-in speakers, mainly because, of course, you're having the audio come from behind you is a little bit odd. But in terms of inputs and outputs, there are two HDMI inputs. One of them has an audio return channel on it as well, optical and a regular headphone output. So either a soundbar connecting to your home theater system, or what I've done recently is using my HomePod speakers to really add to this you know, home cinema experience by being able to watch Dolby Vision content with you know, Dolby Atmos audio. Now, of course, it's not gonna be as good as a proper you know, Dolby Atmos system, but it does get pretty close. And what I like about this is that when I'm not using the projector, everything just looks cleaner without having this like, black void of nothingness permanently there in my room. And I think for the right house, you could do a really good job of positioning your room so it's just more social, perhaps like sofas looking over your garden rather than pointing at a wall. And then you can pull the projector screen down when you, you know, wanna watch something. Now, the other shortfall that might honestly be a deal breaker, for me at least though, is the gaming performance. Now, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. I mean, what could be bad about playing your favorite games on this cinema-sized screen in your home? But the Horizon Ultra has no 120 hertz and it has a 13 millisecond response time. And with recent TVs like the Samsung S95C, which I reviewed recently, featuring up to 144 hertz refresh rate with a 0.1 millisecond response, then this probably isn't the one for you if you intend to do like a lot of serious gaming. But I do know for one thing, your kids will absolutely not care about that at all and they will just love having the bigger screen. But as far as shortfalls go, I think the biggest one that most people will notice is that whilst this projector does have Android TV built into it and you can install apps directly onto this, the interface can be quite sluggish at times. Now, of course, the workaround for this, and probably what most people will do anyway, is plug in their external devices, Apple TVs, Fire TVs, Playstations, Xboxes, whatever it may be, which solves, or rather, I guess, works around issues with the sluggish interface. So realistically, the only downside that you can't really work around here is the gaming situation. And so, is it possible to swap a TV for a projector? 100% yes, it is. Is it good? Yes, as long as you're not primarily buying this for gaming. And can you overcome any shortfalls? Almost. What I will say though is my kids absolutely love playing games on this like huge wall size screen. I also love having a literal home cinema in my house. It's just made watching the latest movies much more like a cinema experience. And given the premium priced alternatives, the Horizon Ultra may very well be the most affordable flagship 4K and Dolby Vision projector on the market today.